Violent clashes between Israel's defense forces and Palestinians continue. Four Palestinians were killed by the Israeli forces on Thursday. Here's a report. December 8, the day these families woke up to the news of losing a loved one. As three Palestinians were reportedly killed by Israeli forces during a pre-dawn raid in the occupied West Bank city of Jenin. The Israeli forces were targeting everything moving. Snipers were all over the buildings and on rooftops inside the city and the refugee camp. They were targeting anything moving, also soldiers and military vehicles. They were shooting. Even an ambulance was targeted. Hundreds took to the streets to mourn the deceased, with their bodies wrapped in Palestinian flags. Mourners were also gathered at the Jenin city's morgue, along with the family of the three dead Palestinians. It was a direct target. When the men got out of the car, the Israeli army were at the old city. They walked a few steps from the car and there was shooting, so they returned to the car. And the Israeli forces assassinated them near the car. Hours later, Palestinian authorities claim that another person was shot dead by Israeli troops near the West Bank hub city of Ramallah. Violent clashes between Israelis, defense forces and Palestinians are not new to the region. The Israeli forces are conducting near daily raids in the occupied West Bank these days. Israel says that the operations are in a bid to counter terror activities. They even released this footage from the overnight operation in Jenin, where more than 40 Palestinians have died during such raids this year. According to the Palestinian Health Ministry, more than 210 Palestinians have been killed this year. This includes about 50 children. It makes 2022 the deadliest year for the Palestinians since 2006. On the other hand, over 25 Israelis have also died this year. There are worries in the West Bank that the violence will escalate under the new Israeli government.